You're supposed to take it. I was supposed to take it out of this. I just baked it in this. So that one, it's just okay, but also Jen's ability to cook things in the penalty box bad. Jordan Show, I just scratched myself with my fingernail. Welcome to the Kitchen and Jordan Show. That's Kitchen. I'm Kitchen. And I'm Jordan. Today we are trying every Trader Joe's frozen pastry. So those are your croissants. Those are your little spoiled gels. Those are your quiches. Basically, if it was like in a pie tin. Did it have a pastry situation? Is it like it has a crust? Yeah, we, then we counted it. We counted it. There are, I think, 11 that we're trying. Ten. There's no way to know. The science is inconclusive. We were going to eat some raw pie crust. And then our friend was like, why, Don't why would you eat we raw were, pie crust? We were told that eating raw pie crust was pointless. So we are <laughs> not doing it. As per usual, our rating scale for the food is just okay, pretty good, really great, and if you absolutely Absolutely suck your, your penalty box bag. Most of these, I think, by appearance, look pretty good. So we'll see how they bake. The first thing we're gonna try is the Trader Joe's almond croissants. This is the thing: before you bake them, they look like this. So weird, right? They look like that. And then yeah. We got them to look like this because we are bakers. <gasps> what? What? Did, did these make... get burnt a little bit? I don't think so. I think they're just brown. They're not burned, and I did it perfectly. Let's just try these almond croissants. I didn't get any almond flavor. Just give it a second. It's like there's a cave in here. Here they What are they doing? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> For like a frozen pastry, I actually think it's pretty flaky. A pastry dough baked really nicely. Like I think that's tasty. I will admit, I think I burned it a little bit, so fine. Did you just admit you did something wrong? I don't know, check the tape. I also did something wrong. I think I let these proof a little bit too long because like, look at this huge gaping hole. Pastries aren't Encino Man, okay? They don't freeze well. Yeah. And they provide comic results later. They're usually best fresh. They're best fresh. They're pretty good, They're honestly. Pretty good. They're, They're pretty better. good. They hadn't been proof so long and they weren't burned, but they'd be great, but we'll never know. The next thing we're gonna be trying is the Trader Joe's classic Naples style Chevoilatel pastry. Chevoilatel can be found just about every bakery and cafe in Naples, okay? These pastries are napoli napoli. <laughs> These, yeah, these, I thought we were napoli <laughs> napoli. <laughs> I will say, I followed the instructions. They don't look like the box. I'm gonna go get them. Like something went wrong. I don't know what, but. <laughs> yeah, I saw these croissants earlier. They look like they're not. I followed done. the instructions directly. I mean, it looks like too. a clam. <laughs> oh, I guess it does kind of look like the box actually. Yeah, but the box, it looks like, like cooked, right? Look at this. This looks like somebody, honestly, this looks like a newspaper someone left out in the rain and then it dried out. Here you go. Go. Okay, there's cheese and candied orange. Oh my god, is this just a wrapping? Yeah, there's like pastry things. Well, the pastry is tasty. The orange filling, the candied orange, is super artificial and it tastes like hard candy. This tastes like Encino Man. It's too frozen. I think you gotta stop referencing Encino Man. No one has seen that movie. I have not seen Encino. What the f Wait! You know what? It is undoubtedly considered a cult classic, which means a high percentage of nerds we interact with have seen it, but a large percentage of the general population has not. I think you forget that you and I interact with a lot more nerds than the average person is because we're f***ing nerdy as hell. You know what? All so of we're like, everyone, all my nerds. Everyone who's seen Encino Man should sound off in the comments about it. We're just gonna prove Jen wrong. It's gonna be really fun for me. Leave a comment saying, I've seen Encino Man and watched it get like four likes from the other <laughs> nerds. Or, I don't like these. I don't think their penalty walk's bad, but they're just okay. They're not good. Honestly, they taste like someone left like some baby food inside a newspaper and then it got wet and then it got dried out and then someone found it. And ate it. And ate it. <laughs> that, that, person, that person was me. All right, the next paste you're gonna be trying, the mixed mushroom and spinach quiche. Just gonna break off a little bite. Honestly, it doesn't look bad. It looks like quiche, just yeah. like egg and pie crust. It's like what a mouse would eat in like a medieval fantasy novel. Bougie ass mouse. <laughs> Mm. Mm. That is undercooked. <laughs> so the center is like really soft and kind of soggy, but the sides are cooked. I'm honest about oh. it. Oh. What? Did you not cook them right? I was supposed <laughs> You're supposed to take it. I was supposed to take it out of this. I just baked it in this. So that one, it's just okay, but also Jen's ability to cook things in penalty box bag. Actually, now that you say that, it does make more sense as to why it tastes like that. Yeah, and the science is inconclusive. There's no way to know if th this could have gone better. I think, it's, I think it's probably pretty good. It's Soggy. just wet. And why is it wet? Jen. <laughs> the next thing we're gonna try is the Trader Joe's four chocolate croissants. These, I think, look closer to how they're actually supposed to look. Nice browning on the back, nice browning on the front. Yeah, they puffed up, the coloring. Real front and back browning. Yeah. This is gonna be the most delicious thing I've ever eaten, I know I, it. I hope it's amazing. Hmm. Um, is this the best chocolate croissant I've ever had? No. 
No. But I've also had chocolate croissants in Europe. Ooh la la. I've also had chocolate croissants from Panera Bread. Like, my standards are not that high, clearly. But I think this is pretty good. Am I still eating it? Yeah. Yeah. Will I stop now? So, pretty good? These are pretty good. They're pretty good. All right, so these are the apple blossoms. Ooh, they have a pretty little crunch to it. Don't look at me. <laughs> That's delicious. That's really great. Wow. Wow. Yummy. Wow. Yummy. Honestly, it looks, this is like one of the only foods where actually I think it looks better in real life than it is in packaging. Yeah. The filling is a really good texture. The crust is crispy. There's not, it's not soggy, but there's still like a it, soft center. It looks like it was warmed in a hearth by a mother who loves you. It has like that vibe. Oh, well, great. Really great. All right, cool. That's that's nice. That's a nice. mother's love. A mother's Re love. Really great. Really great. The okay. next thing we're trying are the four cheese pastry rolls. All right. Okay, I'm cut this in half. Cut I have in half. I got it with a knife. Can you eat it? Can I have a knife? <laughs> it's a good thing we're doing this like pastry video the day after I went to the dentist. It's and like, the day it, before I go to the dentist. Yeah, it's really perfect timing, actually. Uh, I mean, you know the pastry's good when it's hard to cut. Let's try it. <laughs> I don't really like cream cheese and sweet things. So it's why I don't like cheesecake. So this I don't really love because the cream cheese feels out of place to me. So like this kind of denotes that it's gonna be like a, a plush pillowed cheese experience. This is sort of like a flat dorm room pillow experience. I think the pastry itself is nice. Like one thing I have been impressed by is the actual like quality of like the dough pastry situation mm. after they've been unfrozen and then baked. I think these are just okay. They're too messy to eat for how little tasty they are. You can get them if you, if you love you cream cheese. You can do whatever you want, okay? Yeah, it's not, I'm not the boss of you. In fact, I'm barely the boss of me. These, I was really excited to try because these are also frozen pastry. And if you say, it's not a pastry, it's a cake, get over it, okay? Fly to Los Angeles, come talk to me about it. Like, I'm tough to make new friends with because I'm really busy and I got a lot of people in my life already, but um, maybe we could be friends. <laughs> what is this? This lunchable ass this cake? Is what is this? Is this inverted nipple cake? What? Don't body shame the cake. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Okay, oh, okay, so it is lot like there's lava happening. Yeah, it's like it's 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 slowing. It's, it's slowing. Good. It's slowing. It's not just like nothing. Yeah, there's something happening. That fing whips. I think that rules. This is much better than Domino's lava cake, and I can speak from experience. Oh, I can also speak from that experience. Yeah. <laughs> I know I'm so excited. This is just in time for people of Domino's Lava Cake Experience Heritage Month. <laughs> Happy PDLCH -H month. month. Finally, a month for us, <laughs> idiots. A month we can share. A month we can... My kids are gonna love these chocolate pasters. I can't not have kids when I am at the Trader Joe's aisle. You know those are... Whoops. These are the mini croissants. These are mini croissants? Kristen thinks they're too big to be mini. They're too big. They're mega croissants. I mean, yeah. They're... <laughs> no. Really? No. They taste like bread. These are bad. They look bad, they taste bad, they feel bad. They're not small. They're alive from top to bottom. Like they're pretty dense, they're, the layers didn't really, you know how with croissants you want like layers of flaky pastry? It's just pretty much like a really dense situation in you there. You should taste fat in a croissant. A croissant yeah. should ooze fat, but not like in a greasy way. Yeah. The butter shouldn't be like a distant memory that like you kind of are reminded of when you eat like a croissant because you wish you were eating a, a better croissant. croissant. Yeah, this is, a, this is nonsense. You think it's penalty box bad? It's the president of the, the penalty box. Aw, congratulations! <laughs> you went over the hearts of the nation. <laughs> the next thing we're trying is the Portuguese custard tarts. Tell me about the Portuguese custard tarts. All right, so they are creamy tarts with egg yolk filling and lemon flavoring with cinnamon. Where are you reading that? I'm just reading the ingredients and trying to, <laughs> trying to come up with copy as I go. To... Mm. I think that's really good. <laughs> it's good, it's tasty. Good. The pastry's really good, the filling is tasty. It's a custard tart. It reminds me of like the Chinese egg tarts that you can get at dim sum. They're like a, a, a creme brulee bites. Yeah, they're creme brulee they taste like that. They're like creme brulee pies. Yeah. These are really great. Wow. wow. Good job, Portugal. So we're wow. actually on our final item. It's quiche Lorraine. Quiche Lorraine. Oh my god. Mmm! This is much better than the other quiche. Did you cook this one better? I cooked this one correctly. <laughs> so, but who knows why it's better? 
Overall, I feel like Trader Joe's kind of understands how to get texture right on pastries. Mm -hmm. You stick ham and cheese. Ham and cheese, like it's a f***ing winning combination. I also <sighs> bake this one properly. The crust is a really good texture. It's ham like and cheese. crispy it's like a... and crumbly. Mm -hmm. This is good. I think this is pretty good. This is delicious. It's actually better than I thought it would be. Well, yeah, we were like looking at this, we're like, Oh my god. Like, I don't want a frozen egg. It's we like, thought we didn't want it, but turns out we actually do want turns it. Turns out we do want it. Like the end of a rom com. She was hot the whole time. She was hot the whole time. All she had to do was take her glasses off. Honestly, overall, the pastries were decent. And I think to Kristen's point, like texture wise, Trader Joe's does a pretty impressive job at like nailing the textures. I think some of them, like the filling just didn't really, like most of them, if I had a problem with it, it was because of the way the filling like yeah. panned out. Hot on the outside, wonky on the inside, you know? Yeah, like me. <laughs> Um, I'm so hot, my personality is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> That's my allure. That's just, uh, People are like, who is she? And then they get closer and they're like, I don't want to know. <laughs> Thanks for watching our videos, guys. Leave, you know, leave a note in the comments of what fun videos you'd like us to try next. Thanks for checking in. We'll see you every Friday at noon PST, baby. All right, thanks guys. See and you next time. Cut.